Hi, I'm Certified Nutrition Consultant Catherine with Foods That Heal You and Foods That Heal You CBD. And when you're shopping for CBD oil, you really need to know what you're buying. Due to the CBD oil boom, there are companies and products popping up everywhere. So when you're looking at a product, you need to know how to read the labels. You need to know if there's actually CBD in the product. Is the company uh, a reputable company? Are you getting a high quality product? Is it lab tested? So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna help you become an expert shopper on CBD oil so you don't get ripped off. All right, and I'm gonna talk about reading labels, different terms that you're gonna see on labels so you know what to look for. So let's get started here. So hemp oil is one of the top asked questions. Is hemp oil CBD oil? Well, it is not, but most people stop there. They don't explain what hemp oil is because hemp oil is not a bad thing. It just doesn't have CBD in it. So I'm gonna explain. So I've got a bag here of hemp hearts. Hemp hearts, often called hemp seeds, this is where the hemp oil is coming from. It's coming from the seed of the hemp plant. It's very nutritious. These have high protein, vitamins, minerals, uh, essential fatty acids. These are terrific. I make a banana hemp seed smoothie out of these and it's super nutritious. But what you need to know is it doesn't have any CBD in it. So if you're looking at a bottle and all you see is hemp oil, you're not getting CBD. And on, let's say you're shopping Amazon, for example, you're looking at hemp oil, you might see a bottle like this avocado oil where it has a screw cap lid, it's a larger bottle, and it's about 12 bucks. That's not gonna have CBD in it, okay? That's typically what hemp oil bottle's gonna look like. Now, it, it, unfortunately, due to a lot of people being dishonest, what they're doing is they're taking hemp oil like that and they're putting it into a dropper bottle like this and selling it as CBD oil. That's the danger, that's the risk. So when you're buying a tincture drop, you really need to know what's in that bottle because they can put anything in there real easily. And so what I'm teaching you is to look at all of these things, the big picture, not just one thing, not like, oh, I like this, <laughs> the flavor of this one, or oh, I like the label on that one, or oh, I just, whatever. You, you don't wanna, you, you just wanna be really smart and make sure you're covering all your bases, okay? So that's gonna be hemp oil. And then now hemp oil on the label is not a bad thing. Like I said, it's a good thing. But if it's the only thing on there, that's when, you are, that's when you're not getting CBD. And you need to look at other ingredients on the label. So hemp extract is going to be, that's actually CBD itself. That is the whole plant extract from the plant. So that is indicating CBD. And I'm gonna give you an example here of what a whole plant extract looks like so you can also better understand that but if you see that on your label with your hemp oil that's a good sign that indicates there's cbd in there so hemp extract is going to look like this it's usually going to come in a tube it's going to be the closest to the original plant like this is our green raw label cbd whole plant extract hemp extract and this is our gold label this is the three gram gold label hemp extract cbd so these are examples of whole plant extract these are as close to the original plant and as pure as you're going to get there's nothing added to these it's just pure full spectrum cbd hemp oil now when you're looking at labels and i'm just going to use the gold as an example here you'll see this has i think you can see it hemp extract and you can go to our website and look at it closer too but hemp extract on there and it says phytocannabinoids and then when you turn it over it says phytocannabinoids, which again, just a reminder, phytocannabinoids are all of these cannabinoids, CBD, CBN, CBG, those are all phytocannabinoids. So this is gonna have all of the phytocannabinoids, and in parentheses it says CBD and how many milligrams of CBD per serving, okay? That's how you're gonna read a label like that. So that's hemp extract. Now the next thing you wanna look at is CBD. Does your label say for example, hemp oil and CBD. If it does, you need to know what CBD, what is that CBD? Is it full spectrum, broad spectrum, or isolate? That's gonna be really, really important because for example, isolate's not very expensive. So if they're charging you 100 or $200 for a bottle of drops and they're throwing isolate, isolate in there and not telling you, then they're making a lot of money off of you and you're getting ripped off, okay? So, if I'm going to have another video where I go and break this down more, the full spectrum, broad spectrum, and isolate. But for the sake of this video, you just need to know which one it is so that you know what you're buying. Because the thing is, all of these have their benefits. There's, there's a benefit to the full spectrum. It's, it, the full spectrum is going to be superior to the other types, but there are reasons that people might want the broad spectrum 
or the isolate. And I'll review that in more detail, but you really just need to know what is in there. What are you paying for? All right. And then number four, where is it sourced? Is it from China? Because if it's from China, it's going to be high risk of pollutants and heavy metals. And you don't want that. We're trying to get healthy here, not put toxins on our body. Our, the, the products that we have available are grown organically in Colorado and Kentucky. So it's organically grown. You want organically grown. That's really important. And you want to know where it's being grown. Okay. So, so that you're not getting something that's going to be high risk of pollution and all that. So that's the fourth thing. The fifth thing are lab tests. You want to check the lab tests and a lot of people are already aware of this, but what you want to make sure of on the lab test is that it's third party. Because if I just, if you know, throw up a company somewhere and decide that I'm going to put a lab test on there and it's my company's lab test, well, that's not going to be very comforting or reassuring because unfortunately with technology, people could fake that. So you want to make sure that it's a legitimate lab, like our lab that we use is Iron Labs. It's not part of our company, so it's unbiased, okay? You want to make sure it's a third-party lab test that you're looking at. And make sure, of course, that the company has lab tests available or that they can email them to you if they're not on the website. The next thing is a reputable company. With the CBD boom, there's companies popping up that are new right now that could be here today and gone tomorrow. So make sure the company is a reputable company. Make sure that like, for example, we were here long before the CBD boom. I've been a nutritionist for over 15 years. And then when the CBD came along four years ago is when we started uh, having the CBD available and researching it and teaching about it. So long before this boom in the last year, we were already established. So, and when you email us, we're going to answer your questions within usually a day, sometimes sooner than that. So you want to make sure the communication's good, the support's good, the company's been around for a while. You're taking a big risk if it's a new company. I'm not saying new companies are all going to be bad. That's not true at all. But you need to know, you need to really do your homework if you're going to buy from a new company that's not already established because there's a lot of things that go along with this. All right, and then the last thing, Amazon. Uh, people are confused about Amazon. Can you buy CBD oil on Amazon? Well, technically you can, but it's against their policy. So the first thing, it's against their policy to sell CBD oil on Amazon. So what some people are doing is they're taking a tincture drop bottle like this and they're putting hemp extract on the bottle, which as you know, is CBD now that you've learned that. That is CBD without using the word CBD. So they're getting around the policy. My first question would be, what kind of integrity does that company have that they're willing to break the Amazon rules to get their product on there? I would question that first. The other thing is, is are you going to be able to see lab tests? Do you know what company you're buying that product from? Um, do you know where it's grown? Do you know if it's full spectrum or isolate? Do you really know what you're getting when you're buying the product on Amazon? It's highly unlikely you're going to be able to answer all of these questions. And then at the end of the day, is there integrity behind the person selling the product? Okay. So technically, yes, you can get CBD on Amazon, but I can tell you, I have no idea what you're going to get, if it's going to work and if it even has CBD in it. Okay. So now you should be able to go online and better understand how you're reading your labels, what you're looking for when you're buying CBD. Um, one thing that I did not mention also when you're looking at labels is ingredients such as preservatives, additives, artificial flavors. Those are other things that you want to look at on, again, these tincture drops. Like I said, they're really high risk for adding a bunch of junk in there. So you just need to make sure it's a pure product and there's not a bunch of sugar and artificial stuff added to your product because that's going to be kind of contradictory to you getting healthy. And that's what the goal here is to get healthy using the CBD oil. All right, so thank you for watching this video. If you have questions, we'd love to have you join us on our Facebook group community. I'll have a link to that. Or you can email us at support at foods that heal you.com and have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.